All right, chat, I'm going to ask you a question. I did say I was going to equip Fire Drive for the Sirens, but now I'm thinking using that Sleepy Sheep is a classic. So do you want me to use a Sleepy Sheep for the Sirens or, or what do you have in mind, chat? What would you like me to use? To see if Quake wakes them up. You know what? Yeah, that's not a bad idea because we do want to test some Quake shenanigans, uh, some uh, Sleep shenanigans because Sleep got buffed. But I don't think we know exactly how, unless Cappy knows more. JJ Acer compiled, compiled a bunch of stuff and it's wild. Do you want to share with the class? Let me DM you the list. Let me just quickly glance at that list from JJ Acer. Cappy didn't even DM me. Wow, what a faker. He's edging us, guys, with information. I just sent it, bro, chill. Okay. Oh, from the weapon variant, these are the chances for other attacks okay so stage hazards but like heavy stage hazards have a chance of waking up and that's 100 chance ball bulk explosion wake you up immediately chain chomps piranha plants normal attacks have an 80 percent like less harsh stage hazards have a 50 percent damaging attack items except hp drain have a 50 percent spiky goombas spinias and Flower Fuzzy Magic Attack have a 30% of waking up. Gold Fuzzy Paragloom <laughs> and Hyper Paragoom have a 25% of waking up. All Koopas, Paratroopas, Hyper Goomba, Gloomba, and Paragoom have a 20% of waking you up. Goomba Fuzzy Horde Green Flower Fuzzy's Drain Attacks have a 15% chance of waking you up. A bunch of enemy attacks have a 10% chance of waking you up. And everything else, including all Mario and partner attacks, a 0% chance! What? It's actually impossible for you to wake up enemies? Sleep did not need a buff! What? You can only wake up enemies if you're charged. Or if a, if a stage hazard happens to wake them up. That is insane. The the thing in sleep is you can you can put an enemy to sleep and then the caveat is okay, now they're out of commission, but if you attack them, you might wake them up. And then you know they're out of commission for a while and you don't have to worry about them. But now it's just like, oh, you can put them to sleep and then they're asleep and you can still attack them even though they're asleep. Uh, sleep stomp base or like base sleep is five turns and other statuses usually don't have that like long of a turn count. I guess, yeah, the chances of Mario waking up are also lower, but when you fall asleep. Yeah, it's like, the, the, that's the thing. The remake changed so many arbitrary things. There, there were so many things that required or needed to change more than the things they did end up changing. I'm so confused. Oh, they have something to prevent stun locking now because of how good sleep is. Wait, it's just for daisies? So only daisies can no, now no longer stun lock. There are no other enemies that can put you to sleep, except if they have a sleepy sheep. The one enemy that can put you to sleep has a mechanic where his specific sleep is weaker, where you can't get stun block. So at the end of the day, they kind of only buffed sleep for the player, right? It's so funny because with two sleepy stomps, the seven turn sleep is just so fucking insane now. I wonder what they were thinking when, when they buffed sleep, but then changed hammer throw. Oh no, no, sleep stomp is still the same. Sleep Stomp is definitely five turns, but I'll, I'll try it because I might just be misremembering. Yeah, no, that's five turns, Cappy. I always knew Sleep Stomp was good, but not this good. Yeah, only charged moves or attacking items wake up enemies. Please tell me special moves wake up enemies. He didn't wake up. He didn't wake up. Like, you would think but burning from fire wakes you up, but I don't think it will. Fire surely wakes them up. I wouldn't be so surely about that. Surely, surely. That's a terrifying way to die. Being on fire, but being so sound asleep, you don't realize. No, in OG, they just didn't wake up from zero damage. Oh, Wait, oh, Sleepy Sheep is only three turns. Yeah, so Sleepy Sheep was nerfed, but Sleep Stomp wasn't. And you know what? I think that's good. I like Sleep Stomp being like a stronger single target sleep. That's actually pretty nice. All right. Yeah, no bomb. Like you, oh no, it's stage hazard. The Shaggy guy's gonna wake them up. 
Well, son of a bitch! That shy guy woke up Marilyn! Oh, bye bye Also, Sleep Stomp is now, like, insanely good for bosses. Maybe... Okay, I'll let the, I'll let the chat... Maybe I'll do a straw poll. Alright, so I, I think Rockhawk won this, the poll. Alright, Dweeb's asleep. I think... I do think phase changes forces them to wake up. Explain for two hours why we call Yoshi block instead of square. Nah, rewatch the stream. Yeah, this is quite the championship battle, isn't it? Actually, I don't think he wakes up during phase changes anymore. Or like, uh, this specific battle doesn't make him wake up during phase changes. But I'm, I'm actually kind of curious if you can, if you can reset that counter by using sleep, sleep stomp again. So I'm gonna sleep stomp now and see if it resets the counter. It does! What the fuck? Oh my god, this is so broken! Like, sure, sure, there's a million other things you can do with that that is faster. This is literally a 2 FP, 1 BP move you do. Oh, come on, Rockhark, you can't feel that bad. You slept. You had a good sleep. Winners don't do sleep stomp. No, the thing is, for most bosses, like, most bosses have a pretty low susceptibility to it, but you just get that one sleep off and just keep sleep stomping. Just keep doing that. You literally have five whole turns to reapply the sleep every time. Okay, to be fair, if a stage hazard happens, then they might wake up. Because that's the only thing that can happen when you do it that might actually wake up enemies. It's the same for uh, attacking items, by the way. So attacking items also have a chance of waking up. Yeah, no joke, it even works on Shadow Queen. Yes, Shadow Queen is 30% to sleep. 30% is more than enough. And yet Hammer Throw had to be nerfed. Exactly. Dang. Yes, there we go. Yeah, yeah, she can sleep. I know it's weird. She just slept for a thousand years, but I guess it just it just wasn't enough, and she's still a little sleepy. Might as well go for the sleepy now. And there goes Yoshi. Oh no! Oh, okay. Oh, that can wake her up. The fact she's electrified is kind of fucked because I can't put her to sleep. Unless it still works if you fail the action command. Oh, it does still go for the try. That's actually pretty good. And there we go. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't need the defense. Alright, the only thing that sucks about Yoshi is that Ground Pound does have ch a chance of stage hazards. Which can wake up the Shadow Queen. For people who are confused, in the original game, sleep can just, you know, you can be woken up by any attack. But in the remake, you can only get woken up by very specific attacks. And none of yours are applicable. Making Sleep Stomp kind of really good against the Shadow Queen. Because you can just keep reapplying the sleep doing this. And you have five whole turns to, re to reapply the sleep every time. Whenever you sleep for a long time, don't you wake up very groggy? And don't you want to go back to sleep again? That's what she's going through right now. How? Because you were snoozing, honey. Uh-huh. Good plan there, queen. Yeah, imagine you have the power to to rule the world, but you're just a little too sleepy to actually do it. I don't know if going for the sleep at this point is all that smart. I'm just going to go for the kill. I have no idea how much uh, 
HP she has left. Barbie could have lived right there. Like, thing is, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you guys through this right now. If she charges, then the hands won't attack, and I'm safe for another turn. If she uses all her attacks, Mario dies. If I switch partners, she can attack the partner, but Mario still has a chance to die. I think it's probably better to swap. It really depends on how low she is. Imagine if this kills. Oh my god. Yeah, so we I think we just burned the witch. Actually, attacking with Mario would have killed her. But this was a way better finisher. It was first try, though. Oof. I have a headache after that. And yeah, the whole no super guarding thing really makes chapter 8 a nightmare on a level 1 challenge. Like level 1 scavenge. Like no buying items and all that. No buying badges. No upgraded partners. Like, whole. Oh. Lee, this chapter is a nightmare. Chapter eight doesn't pull punches when you do challenges, but like with these specific restrictions, the whole 10 HP and uh, uh, five FP, three BP, no super guarding. Like with super guarding, you can clutch out some some really dicey situations, but without it, like woo. And I remember to drive safe and not gamble and kill demons they're not good you can do it mario could do it at level one <laughs>